Middle East. Okay. Uh, big Middle East. <laughs> Hello, this is Ryan. Uh, <laughs> yes, you always do. Hello, how are you? Yeah. 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 Andrew Vaughan. Andrew, yeah. Andrew, yeah. Okay. So, we yeah, we're sharing the crew. Switch, switch off. Oh, okay. That's okay. Okay, sure. Um, there were many challenges, and, and it was very specific. His aesthetic is very specific. His camera is very fluid. You never know where it is. Mm. Uh, he's like a partner in the scene. So uh, many curiosities, many challenges, and often very gratifying. Do you uh, want to ask him a lot of questions? Because he's kind of secretive about his craft. That's OK. Mm. That's OK. You know, if, if you know, if he gives you a really good setup and creates a very specific world and the text is very strong and the narrative is very strong, there's really very little to ask. Um, you just apply yourself to the logic of what's going on around you. Um, no, it's very clear just by how he carries himself and how he expresses himself that that's not, that's not the way to go with Lars. And probably for me, it's not my personality as either. I, Either I, I'm not so very well by talking. I'm usually much better by doing. One of the reasons why I did this project was uh, I was very drawn to Lars by not only his work but also interviews I've seen. Uh, he seemed like an interesting character. Um, I wanted to be around him, and uh, so that was part of it. So when I read a script, I partially imagine what it is. Uh, I kind of save that for later. Sometimes I don't even want to get too far into imagining what it is. Mm. Just have to have a taste. Just make sure that it's something that um, I'm curious about. Well, may I say you're fortunate enough to be one of those actors that are memorable, that you know the audience knows for a specific style. Was there ever a point of your career where you were insecure and did it ever stop? Uh, no, it's a, I, I think the nature the nature of uh, being an actor is, uh, you know, invites insecurity all the time. And I also embrace that because that insecurity, I prefer, and the thing that if you've been performing for a while, the thing that you have to fight against is a certain kind of um, boredom or cynicism. Mm -hmm. So although that insecurity isn't very comfortable sometimes, it can be hard on you, you know, mentally, it, it serves you well because it pushes you to a point of um, keep on going, it forces you to keep on going back and saying, what is this? How do you do this? What am I doing here? What is this? Who is that? What is this? And I think that's a good stake to start things out. Rather than, oh, I know how this go goes. If I do this, this, and this, and this, it's gonna, I, we're gonna craft this beautiful thing, and it's gonna be great. And, I, I get less excited by that than uh, being in good company and uh, having the world fall away and dealing with problems and, and imagining things and uh, kind of trying to find new ways to see. Over the floor. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.